it would be naive to believe that the safety and security of every country around the world is the same. And what you are used to is going to be the same when traveling. Around the world, countries vary dramatically and can massively impact the safety of any traveler. A whole host of situations can impact your personal safety, including crime, terrorism, or even social and political unrest. However, these can and often do change dramatically depending on different events. If the country is suffering with a refugee crisis, what elections are happening, or has a decision been made in the country by the government that creates unrest? These and many more can impact the safety and security of a country and cause it to change in a heartbeat. How does this impact the average traveller? Are you going to an area of high crime rate or even prone to terrorist attacks? Are you planning on travelling in the middle of a religious festival or during a major protest? If so, ask yourself, what are you doing about it? Finding out information that shows the safety and security of a country is not hard to do due to the large amounts of government, websites and companies that provide this. It is always important to firstly check the credibility of the data that you get. See the organisation that is sending you to see what they can provide before you go. A first start for the average traveller is a government travel advisory of where you are resident. And over the last 12 months or so, these have started to change to be more specific on the safety and security of individual travellers. They provide a good starting point and will help you get an understanding of the general safety and security of a destination. Most of them even have specific sections on this. Beyond this, deepen your research and look to see what other travellers are saying on credible sites. All of this is a great asset to helping you understand the situation such as crime rates, recent elections or any other impacting events. Some also show upcoming events that could change the safety and security of a situation and how it is important to know this prior to going. It is also worth looking at how you can get different updates to show at the time of travel what could impact you but make sure they're relevant to you. When traveling, look at social media feeds, news channels, or use another method that can inform you of what you need to know when traveling. Now you know how the safety and security situation can impact travel and where to look. It is important to see how this affects your next journey. Most trips are planned in advance and the situation can have changed dramatically since booking until the time of travel. Do not worry about this, but keep up to date with what is going on prior to traveling, so you know. Find out what is happening in the country you are visiting, and more specifically, in the area you are going to be staying, and see if any of these events can cause you a problem when traveling. If after looking at the safety and security situation, you don't feel comfortable, then it's important that you speak to someone within your organization to share your concerns. Look at ways to not put yourself in harm's way and try to learn as much as you can prior to traveling. These videos are a great start in doing this. If, however, the situation has deteriorated dramatically before you go, you might need to make the decision if you go, postpone or even cancel your trip. This helps you find out about the safety and security of your destination but do you know how a natural disaster can impact your trip? Click next to find out.